Hi, in this video I'll show you how to add a mini TOC, Table of Contents, to a chapter. This is not a book TOC, but a mini chapter TOC. This is especially useful when you have a very long chapter that uh, is hard to navigate. Let's say you have a 50 page chapter with many subheadings and you would like to navigate from one corner of the chapter to the other by topics in an easy way. So mini TOC is ideal for that purpose. But before doing that, I want to show you something else too as a bonus. Now, if you uh, click your cursor in this first paragraph, you will see that it has a normal paragraph style. And down here on the status bar, you can see that it says normal. Now, the next paragraph, when I click on it, it also says normal, but now there's an asterisk, little star before normal. This means this paragraph style is changed, edited, that there's an embedded uh, style addition to the normal style. To see that, let's view the paragraph, let's see the paragraph designer. Now, in the paragraph designer, you will see that the first paragraph is Calibri Light, 11 points, and there's no star. In the second paragraph, there's a star now. Why? Because the size is 13 points. So, uh, this paragraph has been played around with, and somebody increased the font size. That That's why, if, even though it is still a normal style, it has this embedded font size, which originally was 11 points. So if you'd like to get rid of it, either you have to redefine the normal as 13 points or change all the other uh, normals to 11 points. So now back to uh, our TOC, let's Let's say this is where we want our table of contents to appear. Now to insert the chapter TOC here, you go to insert table of contents and create mini TOC. Now you can transfer any paragraph style from right to left and whatever is in the left text box, the TOC will include this paragraph style. Since I want all these rules, number of rules to appear with links in the mini TOC, I don't need heading one. So I click this arrow and transfer it to the right side. In any paragraph style, which is in this right list, text list, will not be included in the mini TLC. Now that I have the correct paragraph style, I click OK. And as you can see, I also, I also opted for creating hypertext links. I click OK. And there you go. We have our mini TLC. Now, if you press Control Alt, the cursor will turn into a little finger. And if you click, it'll directly take you to that uh, subsection. Now, what if we add a new rule at the very end? Let's say rule number eight, conclusion. Conclusion. And I, I want to attach heading two style to it. Okay. Now, when we go back to mini TOC, there is no rule number seven. How do we update it? 
we select the whole TOC, right click, and we choose update mini TOC. Click OK, and there you go. Now rule number eight is also included in our TOC. This is a very, very useful way of navigating around very long chapters. And this, the uh, paragraph style for the mini TOC, if you look down, is heading to MTOC. So to edit its style, you can go to Paragraph Designer, select Heading to MTOC, and let's make it magenta and change the style to Noto Sounds. And let's apply. And there you go. We have a newly formatted mini table of contents for our chapter. So I wish you good luck. And I hope to see you in our next video.